What's up? So this video is my personal anecdote on ab training. It's how I train my abs, and it's just if you want, if you can take something from it, do. Um, I'm not going to get into genetics, body fat, nutrition. This is purely for um, just targeting abs while you're training and what not to do. I kept this video short as last week's video was a bit long and you requested a shorter video. So here it is and also a dude, you could say a subscriber, but I won't say subscriber, <laughs> asked me to do a video on abs. But at the same time, with abs, you have to build them before you can cut down and visibly see them. But to guys and girls who are still in their teens, you shouldn't be worried about um, cutting down or shredding body fat. You should just worry about hitting them now, building them. So when you do cut down in the future and want to look fucking sick for a holiday or you're cutting for a show or a photo shoot or anything like that, then they're going to look pretty impressive. I have had abs since I was like 15, but I hit them a lot when I was younger. It's like all I did for when I was like 14, 15, 16. And plus genetics has a huge part to play in that also. So this video is a short video. Uh, it, when the ab guide ends, you can choose to watch on after if you want. Um, it's just a guy I met yesterday while I was recording the video, Niall Naga. He's a physique competitor from America and was just competed, competed at the Junior Nationals at Chicago at the weekend. Uh, the dude has a sick physique. He's a really smart guy as well, so I'll link his channel below and I suggest you follow him. And the rest of the video with him is just posing. So that's it guys. Enjoy the video. So first we have decline, bench decline leg raises, if you want to call them. Main point is to tuck your chin, as you'll see, and then fully straighten out your legs and bring the knees right to the chest. Try not to hit yourself in the face. Control the movement. Make sure your ass comes off the bench. I'll show you an example of how to do this wrong, how to do a lot of ab exercises wrong in a clip coming up soon. But just bring your knees right to your chest, lower leg slowly and control throughout the whole movement. Um, you can progress this movement by upping your reps or by simply making the exercise a bit harder. So this is still the same exercise except I'm kicking up into the air. So knees still come to the chest and right when they come up to the chest I kick up into the air and bring them back down the same way. The only thing is don't just drop your legs straight down. Bring the knees back down to your chest on the way down and then repeat. Now these are Bruce Lee's. Uh, very tough exercise, but if you find the previous two exercises easy or just want to challenge yourself that bit more, then I would recommend this exercise. Uh, it requires a lot of core strength, a lot of control. should take about three to four seconds on the eccentric of the exercise to come down if you're doing it properly. Involving the bench again, these are decline bench sit-ups. I'm currently not running this exercise in my program, but at some point throughout the year I do add this exercise in as it feels really good. I add in ab exercises that I feel my abs working the most, and with this one I do. Now doing this exercise, you'll see me going down all the way, but throughout the movement I realize either my lower back's kicking in too much or I'm not feeling it as much. And that comes down to you as well. You have to you can be told how to do an exercise, but at the end of the day, you need to do whatever feels best for you. And if it involves changing the way you have to do something, then do it. Do it! This next exercise involves a Swiss ball, and before we get started check out that hamstring Whoa. so with this exercise you stretch your diaphragm all the way back and then coming up as far as you can notice I can't come up any further because I'm keeping my arse on the Swiss ball it shouldn't be off it otherwise you'll feel lower back pain 
and coming up stretching keeping my chin tucked my I'm stretching my diaphragm not my head or my neck they stay in the same place you can progress that exercise with reps or add weight so as you can see I picked up a kettlebell and just simply putting it against my chest you can use any weight you can use a dumbbell but I had the use of a kettlebell to my advantage which is easier to hold than a dumbbell but any weight will do. Now what I see a lot is people doing ab exercises but really they're not hitting their abs but because they feel a burning sensation they think they're doing it right but you have to think where are you feeling the burn so this is usually what I see just no movement not lifting your ass up no effort at all and you will feel a burn but it will be in your hip flexors which will be useless to you and a waste of time Next is another variation of the decline leg raises I was doing on the bench. If you do not have the bench or any piece of equipment or you want to just do these at home, this is another way of doing it. Um, there's nothing wrong with this as long as you use the same principles. You bring your knees all the way up to your chest and control your legs on the way back down. This can be just as effective as using the bench. I just prefer the bench fucking great time to get a text and make sure you keep your hands placed under your ass as this will allow you to move throughout the movement comfortably then it's all about finding that good lighting this is just me I'm 10 weeks out from my show I have to really nail down my posing um, as I'm getting closer I'm doing men's physique but bodybuilding poses are 10 times harder so if I can nail these then I'm pretty much sorted for men's physique as it won't require too much um, won't require too much of me to hold those poses on stage but I still have to go through my routine which you'll see I get help with here in the next clip this dude is Niall Nagan shout out to you Niall, met this guy yesterday during my session really cool guy, he competed at Junior Nationals for an IFBB Pro card the same show Stephen Cow was competing at the weekend. I say that as a lot of you know Stephen Cow. It was really cool to get his insight on competing over in America and he was just taking me through tips on how to pose for men's physique, transitions, what the judges look for. So the ad video is over but if you want to continue watching the rest of this clip then just do it I suppose. Trust! Enjoy. Final tip don't get shaved. So, when you're growing up like me, looking like a fucking monkey. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Also, next week, not putting up a video because me and the monk are going to be in Spain. But I will bring the camera to show you after the week what we got up to. Because we're still dieting for a show. So it'll be traveling and dieting. Should be a fucking sick one. Enjoy your day, enjoy your week. Hope you took something from this video. Bye. So you reckon, so you reckon come out, I come out and then so straight into my strongest pose. Yeah, your strongest pose is always the first pose you do, right? right? So you think you that's kind of a side shot. So do you think that or like come out and go? Head shot for sure. Really? So cool, oh, exactly like that. So what the judges like to see, the most important thing the judges like to see is width, you know, right by the shoulders, right? Width right here is the, the number one thing. And then the second thing that comes is like is uh, your waist, right? So the width to your waist. So the thing that turns the judges off is when guys are turned too much to the side yeah. and then they sacrifice the oh, width yeah, of their shoulders, yeah. right? So the shoulders, they're, they're yeah. like, so you don't want to be to the side like this. You want to really turn and show the other lat, you know? Yeah, this right here, you want to make sure that's visible. Because that's that helps yeah. show, you know, when. That looks really good, dude. You got a really good that's gonna That's going to take a lot of time to yeah, a lot of time get that up the mirror, sure. though. Definitely. Yeah. It's hard, for sure. But that looks good. <laughs> yeah, it's tough to hold. Yeah, and then 
Uh, make sure you're also flexing your arms because uh, if you're not, you know, if you're not doing it, well, flex, it won't flex the mind. Definitely flex that one. What about this? What about our, this one you should also flex, but don't like, you know, yeah, don't okay. show the judges that you're like, you know, shaking, right? So flex enough that it's like still comfortable. And then, um, yeah, dude, that looks good for sure. And then transition. Yep. And let's say you're coming out with your strongest ball, your side balls. And then you do your routine. Then do they ask you to like pose that you have to that everyone has to then? What happens is actually what happens is you guys all come out in groups, like right? So say you have like ten people in your class, they'll come out in groups of five. And in your group of five, they'll immediately call out like gotcha. yeah, yeah. like turn, turn around to the back post. So you just come out and you're immediately in your front post and you stay there until they say um, face the curtain. Yep. And you, you know, do your transition. The moment you have to do your back pose. Fuck oh, the back nut. So I still have to practice my back pose because I, I flexed my back pose in the national really competition. Much, much but up. what happened was I was. Uh, do you know Kenny Wallach? No. He's the guy who coached Sydney Catspick to pose. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so he's like an amazing dude, and he taught me all the, all these tips. But like I haven't learned my back pose yet from them. What they told me was. Open up the rib cage, keep my arms straight, try to keep your arms lock them out so you're flexing your triceps. Yeah, just like that. And then try to rotate your hand but not your arm. In words like that. And then oh, yeah, close yeah. them if you want. And your back is free, your back is sick. Thanks, dude. <laughs> my back is my strongest part, but I, I, don't know, I, I still have a lot of work too. So. Oh, we all do. Yeah. Oh. Even cow is like, that's the like. Uh, the bird flat right <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I do, um, I go like this. Because I like to show my back. That's it. In the very first pose. Go down. And come out with my other back. That was sick, man. Is that what you did? You did yeah. that? Yeah, I mean, I just did, but like, it's also based off. Sick, sick right up there. I'm gonna get on the shot. I'm gonna get on the shot. <laughs> Like this, my oh, shoulders shit. were all the way up here, and I showed it to the main judge afterwards. And he's like, "Yeah, you really fucked up your oh, back pose. Oh. Like, that cost you a bunch." So. How long was it for? It was actually only eight weeks. Oh, nice. Because I uh, like to stay lean yeah. in my eyeballs, Dude, nice. but I already started eating a lot because I get on <laughs> vacation. You know? Uh, are you looking for a food place around here? Uh, yeah, actually, we dropped by some place where I like. We got like chicken breast, mashed potatoes, carrots. I don't remember what it was, but it's probably just a restaurant. Restaurant, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm trying to. Uh, We've got. I'm trying to count my macros and estimate them, but still go to still enjoy like you know. Some what macros? What macros are you hitting? What's that? What macros are you hitting? Uh, I'm doing a reverse diet right now, so I'm at 2,200 calories. Nice. You're sticking to 2,200. I'm trying. It's tough. Yeah. It's very tough. I've yeah. Been over. 200 calories, 220 grams of protein, and then 20% of it is fat. So, and what's your age term? Uh, it's my. Bye right, guys, not Lega. <laughs> Follow that sick motherfucker. <laughs> Check out my channel.